Hello again, this is Bakayaro, here with another Minecraft physics video. As I explained in the first video, we're going to take the data presented by the Minecraft engine at face value, and try to come up with a coherent, plausible world that fits with that data. I think you'll find that, like the first video, we're going to gain some startling insight into the setting of the Minecraft world, and the world of the Airship Pirates series. One of the things I mentioned briefly in the first video was that gravity acceleration tests demonstrate that the Minecraft world must have a very dense atmosphere. I want to start by talking about how that explains some of our weapon choices in the Airship Pirate series, as well as the Minecraft world in general. So, to start things off with a bang, here is the absolute state of the art of weaponry in the Airship Pirate series. I give you the battleship HMA Goliath. I built this ship for an upcoming episode of the series, and it has the very best weapons available in Minecraft today. So I had an experiment planned to demonstrate this, however I've had to change my plans. I was recently contacted by the Ministry for Minion Management, and apparently there was some safety infraction or something like that with my last video. I don't know what they're talking about, but I guess it just goes to show that none of us are immune to the bureaucratic nonsense. Anyway, I've been instructed that Bob here is going to be running the experiment this time. So Bob, are you ready to show us these guns? Okay, sounds good. Bob has asked that we stand over here so that we can see better, uh, so let me just get into position. So, these guns on the Goliath, they just use the standard Minecraft physics engine in order to work. It's just redstone, a well-designed firing chamber, and glorious, glorious explosives. The ship does fly using Movecraft, the plugin I've been working on, and that's also what makes the turrets turn on so on. Uh, Bob, we're getting pretty far away. Are you sure you want us this far out? Uh, I'm not sure we're going to be able to see it, and I don't want to miss anything. Alright, well, I'm sure you know what you're doing. So the Goliath has a series of turrets of TNT cannons that are typical for the Airship Pirate series. A little more advanced, perhaps, than the guns on the Destroyer or the Silver Empire assault craft, but the same basic principle. She also has a full 80 fire guns for fighter screening and shooting down enemy torpedoes, but right now we're going to focus on the main armament, those TNT cannons. Alright, Bob, well, I think I'm in position, so we're ready to see whatever it was you're going to show us. Uh, uh, what are you doing there, Bob? Uh, I, I think... Uh... I think Bob is just showing us how uh, how those turrets rotate. That's that's pretty neat, isn't it? Uh, those uh, Royal Navy boys, they really know how to make a warship, don't they? As you can see, those shells really pack a punch. Uh, but there are some important observations that we can make. I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. I was just having a uh, discussion with Bob, and uh, he was suggesting some, some changes in our format. Uh, you know, I'm beginning to question the wisdom in giving him command of that battleship. I think it might just have gone to his head. But, on the other hand, we really value the input of our employees, so we're going to proceed. Where was I? Oh yes, okay, so the Goliath's main battery includes some of the biggest, heaviest, and most powerful guns ever created. Just being near them when they fire is enough to kill a man. Yet, their maximum range is still only about 240 meters. A correspondingly large gun on Earth would fire over 20 miles. So, 
Just as in my last video, the dense atmosphere slowed down Bob on his way down my gravity testing machine, so it also slows the shells fired by the Goliath, limiting its range. By my calculations, the Minecraft atmosphere is roughly 15 times more dense than Earth's. Another effect of this dense atmosphere, other than slowing down cannon shells, is that you really can't see very far in Minecraft. In fact, the distance the Goliath main battery can shoot is about the furthest it is possible to see. Again, this is easily explained by the dense atmosphere, which would block the light after a certain distance. Between the limitation on cannon range and the limitation of visibility, engagement distances in the Airship Pirate series are much shorter than is typical on Earth. Battle is always up close and brutal. To help you picture the effect of the dense atmosphere in your mind, think about being underwater. So on Earth, if we want to make a weapon, all we have to do is use the force of some explosion, say of gunpowder, to hurl a hunk of lead, and that's enough. Take away all the pretense and technology, and this is basically a glorified version of throwing a rock at someone. The damage is delivered simply by the projectile striking the target. Bob? Uh, the point is, have you ever tried throwing a rock underwater? It doesn't work too well. The water slows down the rock too much for it to be effective. So, the warmongers of the Minecraft world can't rely on simple ballistics to do their killing for them. Have you ever wondered why Minecraft uses bows instead of guns, even after the discovery of TNT? Now you know. Arrows are much more effective in a dense environment, because their aerodynamic shape allows their sharp point to cut into the target. In fact, here on Earth, when we want to do our killing underwater, we use a harpoon gun. Uh-huh. The harpoon gun fires a projectile that actually looks a lot like an arrow when you get down to it. And other than a few rare and largely unsuccessful specially designed underwater guns, which also fire projectiles that look a lot like arrows, traditional guns just don't cut it in a dense environment. So it all makes sense. Now, when it comes to anti-ship weapons, you notice the cannons from the Airship Pirate series don't just shoot a boring old cannonball. They shoot explosive charges, because that's the only way to actually inflict damage to another ship, just like death charges used in the oceans of Earth. A purely ballistic cannonball just doesn't do enough damage in a dense medium like the Earth's oceans or the world of Minecraft's atmosphere. Enough about weapons. Now we're going to talk about how some of these differences would likely have shaped the history of the Minecraft world. So on Earth, buoyant aircraft, i.e. airships, were first flown by the Montgolfier brothers in 1783. Because they would be so much easier to make in a dense atmosphere, I theorize in the Minecraft world, airships would have been invented centuries earlier. This would have had an enormous effect on that world's history. For example, consider the Barbary Pirates. They were a group of African pirates that rampaged across the Mediterranean and the Atlantic for hundreds of years. Many of the nations of the world were forced to pay them tribute, including the United States. Really, Bob? These were some of the most bloodthirsty cutthroats of history, and you just... <sighs> Fine. Anyway, these pirates were so brutally successful in capturing slaves that they effectively depopulated all of coastal Europe. Just imagine how much worse it would have been if they had had access to airships and not been limited to the cities within range of their ships. Of course, on the flip side, trade and commerce would have connected far-flung reaches of the world much more quickly once merchant airships became commonplace in the Minecraft world. So, in some ways, they could have advanced culturally more quickly than our progression here on Earth. Well, I think that is about all I can stomp- or I mean, all I have for you for now. If you have enjoyed this, go ahead and subscribe or check out some of my other videos like the Airship Pirate series. Or go download Movecraft and create your own world of amazing creations. 
I'll put the link for Movecraft in the description of this video. Thank you for watching.